Hi everybody, welcome to the Chattahoochee Country Club workout, our session number two. It's such a gorgeous day, we decided to come outside and enjoy the fresh air. A little windy, but it's beautiful. So let's get started. Today we're actually going to do a workout consisting of all stretching. In these stressful times, we all need this. So um, keep this exercise handy so that you can look back at it and you can stretch three, four, five times a day. All these stretches should be kept hold for about 20 to 30 seconds. All right, let's get started. All right, here we go. So what you're gonna need is a block, if you've got a foam block, or an object similar to this for balance. Also, the other item that you will need is a strap or you can use a belt, anybody's belt. Just get a belt and use that. So the first one we're gonna do is what's called a mat step over. Come all the way over to the side of the mat right here. All right. You're going to take your legs as, as big as you can, step over the mat, okay? And step over. Oh. I want to heal a little yeah. bit. Hang on there. Look at that focal spot, uh, spot and hang on. Yeah. I'm yeah. going down here. You're on a hill. <laughs> you're on a hill. Four. And that's something you need to watch out for when you're outside. Try to make it as level as you can. We just try, uh, We chose a beautiful spot at Michelle's expense. <laughs> Not one so more. Level. Okay, there you go. Okay, so the next one's called a hip mobility exercise. This is a great exercise if you've got tight hips or the lower back is tight. It's kind of awkward, but watch me and we'll work through it together all the way down to the mat. Okay, so one knee goes to one foot. This is what it looks like. Okay, so the feet don't move, only the knees. You pick those knees up, take it all the way to the other side. Okay, keep going. Okay, so let's do this again. Everybody, the first time they do it, always has a hard time with it. It's very awkward, but it's such a great exercise. Okay, so feet stay right where they are. Knees come up. And take it to the other side. And you can lean over this way. All the way up to the other side. You're going to hold these stretches for about five seconds. Lean over. Oh, doesn't that feel good? Oh, it's a good stretch. And over. And over. And remember, if you find a favorite stretch, you can do it more than what we're doing. We've got two more of these that we're going to do in this video taping, but you can keep going on this. Up and over. Swing. And up and over. And lean. And all the way up. Great job. Okay. Cross the legs right here. Sit up nice and straight. Straight. You're going to hinge through the hips forward. So you don't want to slouch. You want to keep the hips as, the back as straight as you can and lean forward. Walk it out. And again, Michelle's leaning downhill just a little bit. Just a little, just a little bit. And she's probably going to roll backwards. We won't laugh too hard. Get that good stretch. She's getting an extra stretch, kind of, kind of trying to reach uphill. Okay, and you'll feel the longer you go, the more those muscles will give just a little bit. Let's tuck the head down now. Keep it forward with the fingers. And slowly walk it up. Good job. All right, knees are right here. Okay, nice and tight. Nice and straight with that back. Both hands come all the way to one side. Now you can take this for whatever the mobility you have in your body is, maybe a little bit less of a stretch, but if you can really take it around, take it around. And all the way to the other side. And all the way down. Okay, grab your strap or your belt. Make sure it's got a loop in it just like this and take it around one foot. Both feet come all the way down. Lay all the way back and watch me. I'm going to show it, demonstrate, and then I'm going to come up and uh, watch Michelle's alignment. So roll it all the way down. Pick the leg all the way up. So you can see her 
leg is nice and straight. You want the leg nice and straight. This is working the back of the hamstring. Now she's going to take this foot and rotate it out so the hips open. And hold. Again, about 20 to 30 seconds on this. Again, change and close the hips up. And she's holding it up. She's in good position. She keeps that knee is straight. I don't like to use the, the term locked, but that's basically what you want. You want it as straight as you can get it. Let's go to the other side. Here we go, and I'm going to help her through it just so we can go pretty quickly. Okay, this leg down. And she's got that leg as straight as she can. Watch your form. She's probably getting a head rush because she's facing <laughs> downhill. <laughs> Open up the hips all the way out. Hold that foot up. You don't want it to go down. The objective is to get that hip really stretched out, really deep into the, the hip mobility muscles. All the way, close it. 20 to 30 seconds. And hold. Awesome job. Okay, so now she's going to keep this on her foot and she's going to flip over on her stomach. Raise her foot up right here, all the way down as flat as you want. The spine as straight as you can get it, and she's going to pull get it in the front of the leg, the quadricep muscle. This looks like it's a very easy exercise. It's much more in intense on that quadricep than you think. By using that strap, you're really pulling deeper through the muscle, no matter how flexible. with you working out and you're taking those I'm taking your fingertips and I'm pulling now take one of your arms and thread it through right here dropping the shoulder down to the mat and looking through And change and go to the other side. Arm is as straight forward as you can get it and tuck through and look through. Drop the shoulder to the mat. And all the way up. Nice job. Okay, here's where the foam roller comes in. We've done this one in the last session. We're going to do it again. Come all the way up. Okay. So, I'm giving you the option to use this if you need to. Bend the knees, put your, hand, your palms straight down, and lean, come all the way up until the legs are completely straight. Now if your flexibility is good, you can come down to the mat. If you need help, by all means, use a prop, but keep the legs as straight as you can. Same muscle, take one foot behind the other. It's like you're taking a step, 
You can use your prop to keep the legs straight or take it all the way down. Change sides so the other foot is forward. Okay, and Michelle's demonstrating with the foam block or your object or down to the ground. Keeping the legs straight. And slowly, slowly walk it up. Let your blood pressure come back to normal. Okay, so roll the shoulders out, put your equipment away. All right, hands come behind the shoulders, right, or the head right here. Take the elbows and press back. So you really want to squeeze the shoulder blades together. And my favorite's the very last, which I'll show you in just a minute. Arms come all the way down behind the back. Place them together. Roll the shoulders back. Good. All right. So you're going to take your um, chin all the way over the shoulder and look the opposite direction. See how Michelle's looking? Now take your chin and drop down. Ooh, what a great exercise. Yeah, that's good. It's good. It's like a massage. And all the way up, take it to the other side. First the chin goes over the shoulder and then drop the chin down. And all the way up. And again, you can do that several times. You can also do that driving, but make sure you're at a stoplight. <laughs> okay. All right, that was a great stretching session. Let me just give you a little bit of um, a saying for the day. Okay. Never let a bad situation bring out the worst in you. Choose to stay positive and be the strong person that God created you to be. Bye, everybody. Till next time. See you. Miss you. Bye.